everyone. Welcome to Spirited Arts Cookies and Canvas. We are going to paint the lemonade in this video and I'm going to do it right along with you. So let's get started. So you're going to put both of your brushes in the water and I am going to have uh, my big brush for mixing. I'm going to take my big brush out, tap it on my napkin, and the first color I'm going to make is this hot pink. So I'm gonna take a scoop of red and about a quarter scoop of white. So a scoop of red and about a quarter scoop of white. And we're gonna mix that in a small circle. We're getting, we're trying to get a hot pink. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more white to mine because that still looks pretty dark to me. And what you can do is you can put a little, mark on your canvas and see if that's the color that you want. See how it looks up on your canvas. So let's take this up. I'm going to use my big brush and that looks right. So that's about the pink that I'm going for. And what I'm going to do is fill in everything except for the cup and the table and the lemons and this um, little decoration up top. You do want to fill in the pink above the bunting. So take your time. You can use your little brush if you want, especially when we get down here in between all these. And if you go into the lines a little bit, don't worry too much. We can actually fix that when we put the colors of the bunting in. A lot of them have white in them, so it'll actually go on top of the pink if we need it to. When you get near the cup, you may want to use your little brush. And we'll add the decoration to the background when it dries. And take your time you can always stop the video if I'm going a lot faster than you are and that's no problem okay so at this point we have the background in but you'll notice that through the cup so the lemonade is up this high but you've still got some background for the cup in this painting it's a slightly lighter pink color um, you can either use the color that you have because it would be showing through the cup um, or you can just take a little tiny bit off to the side and, and add a little bit more white and you'll just get a lighter pink color. And I'm going to use that slightly lighter color to fill in the top of the cup and then this background right here. I have a lot of paint in my brush, so I'm actually going to rinse that off and I'm going to get my little brush out to finish that little space. Also guys, feel free to use your little brush any time. You might only have one brush and it might be a little brush. So if that's the case, then it might take you a little more time to fill all this in. This is the biggest color that we have all this pink. All right, don't worry about the straw right now either, okay? We're gonna put that in after. All right, so we've got the lighter pink inside the glass and we've got the pink background on. So now we're gonna do that table and that orange. And we've already got some white and red mixed together. So all we need to do is take a big scoop of yellow and I have my little brush right here, so I'm just gonna do that in the lighter pink that I made. If you didn't make a lighter pink, that's fine. You just might need a little more yellow. And I'm adding a huge scoop of yellow to that light pink, and there's my orange for the table. Now, if you want it a little bit brighter, you can add a little more yellow and just a teeny tiny bit of red, okay? The white that was in the pink has muted our orange a little bit, 
And so if you want it to be a little, a little brighter, just add a little bit more of the pigments, no more white, but just a little more yellow and a little more red, and then go ahead and fill in the table. So you're gonna go around the lemon. I've seen some people make one a lemon and one a lime, or both of them limes, that's totally fine. You have the colors to do that if you want to. We'll talk about that when we get there. But whatever fruits you have on your table, you're gonna go around them with the orange. Remember that cup has rounded corners, it's not a square. So as you're filling in the table, you wanna round out the fruit and under the glass. One little space here. I didn't quite get all the way around my lemon, so I'm just going back with some pink. Make sure. At this point, the pink should come right up to your orange table. So your background should be completely covered. All right, and I'm gonna rinse my brush. Actually, I'm gonna rinse both of them because the big brush still had pink in it. I wanna clean that one out. And I'm going to Rinse my little brush too. Okay. Um, I'm going to actually go with my yellow. I'm gonna take a big scoop of yellow, maybe two if you're using that little brush. And then I am gonna add about a half scoop of white. And if you wanna use straight yellow, you're more than welcome to. Um, I'm just putting a little white in. It makes it look a little more pastel. It also will make it a little less streaky when we put it on. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the lemonade in my cup. And I'm gonna fill in these lemons right here. If you wanted to make them lime, once you are completely done with the yellow, you can add a little bit of blue and you'll get this really neat light green color. And if you if it's too green, just add a little more yellow, straight yellow, and it'll be a really nice lime color. All right, so we've got the lemonade. You can fill, fill that in, that whole oval oops, at the top. Don't worry about the lines because we're gonna clean that up with an outline. There's my lemon. I got. I have this lemon too that's on the side of the cup, so I'm gonna make that yellow. Usually when I'm filling in a circle, I use the paintbrush in a circular motion. If you go outside the lines, again, we're gonna clean that up with an outline, so don't worry too much. And then you have the bunting. So this one is every other yellow, so I'm gonna start on the left and fill in every other one yellow. You can add, I've seen uh, the blue added in here, you can certainly add other colors. If you wanna make it rainbow, you could do that. But for me, I'm just gonna do every other one yellow, and then I'm actually gonna come back with that orange that we made for the table. And the beauty of the yellow and orange is that you're just using colors that you've already made for the painting. So in other words, you're putting the same color that's in the table up here, and it helps to have the viewer's eye move around your painting because those same colors are used in multiple spots. So I've got some orange up here. I'm actually gonna put some orange into the lemons too, but we'll get there. Okay, one more little triangle here. Okay, and now if you want to make an X with a line through, like a plus sign, an X with a plus sign. You can do that. My yellow is really wet right now, so you may want to wait till it dries. I'm going to try that again with a 
lighter touch here. And then the same thing, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put a dot in the center of the top of the lemon, and I'm just gonna take a few lines out. Those are like the sections of the lemon. And I'm doing that with the orange. If you don't love that, you don't have to add it in. It's just to kind of section it off. And when I'm finished that, I'm gonna rinse my brush. Now is a good time to let your painting dry a little bit. We're gonna be working on um, the outline and some of the decorations in the background. So if your painting is really wet, then you're gonna to want to let it dry. I'm actually gonna to try to do the white first that's in the background because the pink was the first thing I put on. And so hopefully that pink is dry. So we're gonna work on these clouds or they're just really decoration. Um, if you look at it closely, you can see that it's basically a lowercase e, and maybe it has like a little curly Q on the end, but it's, uh, the shape is a little lowercase e, and some of them are backwards. So you can draw the e front and back, and that's how you get those little white clouds, or decorations, if you will. I think I got some pink on my brush. All right, so here we go. We're gonna draw the letter e, and then you can go back over it a little. Give it just a little bit more of a curve in the in inside. And then if you want to do a backwards E, then just give it a little more curve on the end. And so that's how you'll make those clouds. And if you want, you can put some over here too. This one kind of goes sort of down the side of the painting a little bit. You could also just make a squiggle like this, snake swirls. And you can kind of go over top of some of these two, so they don't have to be just one. You could go over top of some that you already made in my brush, hopefully my table's dry, I'm just going to make some dash marks and I'm going to have them go in different directions. So I'm just twisting my brush a little bit and they're just little dash marks. If you want to put polka dots in the tablecloth, you could do that. You can make some horizontal, some completely vertical, and then a lot on the diagonal. If the white is blending into the orange, then maybe give it a little bit longer to dry. It's probably just still wet. And then I'm going to also take white in my brush with very light pressure, and I'm just gonna go along the edge of the lemon and kind of the edge of the cup. This is just showing that there's a curve in the cup, and I might put a little bit of white into the lemonade. And I think that's it with the white. Okay. Now this one has blue, I'm sorry, this one that you're seeing here has black as the outline. I'm actually gonna use blue. I believe that the original had blue. So that's what I'm gonna use. And now we're just very carefully gonna go along the edge of the cup. Again, try to keep it dry. I can see that my yellow is still wet, so it's turning green here. I'm just going to go over it with very light pressure and you want to keep re-dipping in your blue so that you get a nice line. You want to pull the brush down. You're going to outline the lemonade that's in the cup. And you're also going to fully outline the top of the cup. We'll get to the straw in a sec.
And then you want to outline the cool bunting. So every little triangle on the bunting. This is where if you went outside the lines, you can clean that up a little bit with your outline. It'll cover up maybe where you went outside the lines a little bit. And you can make this, this outline as thin or as thick as you want. It doesn't have to be super thin. It kind of is nice to have that blue up against the yellow and orange. So it looks good with a thicker line. And then you're going to take one more line straight across where they're hanging down. All the way across. It's not a straight line. I meant from side to side. It's a curved line. Just like they're strung up. Okay, last thing is our straw. So if you look at the straw, it's actually going to go behind the front of the cup and into the lemonade. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come here and draw from a, it's about, it's about in the middle of the cup. So if you wanna come and draw a long, thin, oval it's almost like a long thin oval and then you're gonna skip the line of the cup and come into your lemonade now it's okay that we outlined it because it's coming right behind that whoa that straw got really thick you probably don't want yours that thick <laughs> all right so into the lemonade I'm actually probably gonna take a little of that off because it looks really fat at the bottom. So let me see if I can take a little bit of water and erase that. <laughs> it should be more, it should be more of like a long oval. So this part's pretty thick. And I'm just using a little bit of water on my napkin and I'm just thinning that out. Now, as long as everything behind it is dry, all you'll pick up is that blue that you just added. So this is, my cup is pretty dry, the lemonade is pretty dry, so I'm able to pick up mostly just that blue. Okay, that's better. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put that outline back in there. So I'll put the cup outline back in there and then the straw. All right, once you have your straw, I'm going to rinse my brush and we're gonna put those white details on the straw. Now mine right now is very, very wet, so you should let it dry. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put little curved lines on the straw. It's really those lines that you see, sometimes they're red and white on a straw. Um, but in this case, it's our straw is blue. You can also make them kind of wavy lines if you want. So you can make them wavy or you could just make them like little smiles. All the way down. And then at the very top, you're just gonna have one little smile at the very top. Alright, and that's our lemonade cup. I hope you had fun painting with us today. And you can click on the next one for the eagle. Thanks for painting with us today.